Shalom First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Abrahakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. Just want to go into a quick lesson, and I'm going to just jump straight into it. This is Jeremiah 49 and 12. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And the day that it's talking about here is the nation of Israel. Okay, because we weren't supposed to experience, you know, uh, the slavery that we went through most recently under the hands of Esau Edom. Okay, but the Most High still allowed us to go through that. All right, it says, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. You know, and we went through that slavery, man. We went through that hardcore bondage. You went through that, that chattel slavery and the curses fully came upon us. It says, and art thou he that shall all together go on punishing? Now here it is, the Most High put his own people in slavery. The people that he loves, the people that he calls the apple of his eye, the people that he calls his fervent lover. He put us in slavery, man. And then you got Esau, Edom, he think he's gonna get off scot-free, man. He actually believes in his mind that the Most High is gonna pardon him for all the wickedness that he's done, man. Okay, and like it tells you in uh, Revelation the 12th chapter, He's accusing us before our power day and night. So he's pointing the finger at us, man, like there's something wrong with us. Thinking that the Most High is going to skip, you know, uh, over the things that he's done. Oh, look, look at what your people are doing. You know, look at all. Oh, see, look, they, they deserve to be destroyed. They deserve to be judged. You should continue to, to jack them up. Okay, but look, we're in a time where Yahweh Shai, as the scripture says, is going to have mercy upon the nation of Israel. Okay, our punishment is up, man. All right. We ain't gonna go into captivity no more, man. We served our sentence. And the Heavenly Father being a, a fair judge, okay, the sentence being over, we're gonna get released, man. Now it's time for you to go into slavery. Now it's time for you to be judged. Okay, and all that wickedness that you've done that's been stacking up, you gotta pay for it, man. Okay? We went into slavery. It says, And art thou he that shall all together go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So those curses are going to come upon you too, man. Okay, you're you not going to get away, Esau. All right, you can point the finger at Jake as much as you want to. You're not getting away. The Most High going to come visit you, man. This is Lamentation 4 and 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and make thyself naked. Yeah, you're going to come to this deplorable state man the same state that the so-called negro latino and native american in you're gonna be in that state man really it's gonna be worse okay because the most high ain't gonna have mercy on you man we, we we gonna be able to do whatever we want to you okay and the most high gonna be with it all right and it's like the scriptures say you got to pay double for what you did it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. See, so we getting ready to get up out of here, man. Our sentence is done. We, we served our sentence. We paid for our sins, man. Okay? So there's nothing you can do to keep this affliction going, to keep this captivity going, man. The Most High has deemed that our time is up. Okay, and now it's time for you to pay, man. It says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. And after this is said and done, we ain't going back into this condition, man. We're going to be on the top perpetually because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to give us those new bodies, man, with the law, statutes, and commandments written inside of them so we cannot get in a predicament like this ever again. It says, he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Okay, and now your, your crime is getting ready to be bought up, man. Now it's time to judge you. Here it is, you accusing people, okay, of, of doing this, doing all this wickedness. Well, what, what are you doing, man? Okay, and that, that puts, puts the spotlight on you. You pointing the finger at somebody else. Well, what, what the hell are you doing, man? Okay, and you got all kind of crimes you got to pay for. You got all kind of wickedness that you've done, man. Okay, we don't know half the stuff this nigga does on a, on a daily basis, man. You know, and the little things that we do know about this damn devil, it's completely out of line, man. You know, he got a human trafficking uh, ring, a global, global human traffic ring 
Well, it just came out. You know, uh, the uh, diocese out there in France. They said we gotta, we gotta make things right for all the 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 uh, children that they molested, man. Okay. That, that that's not even half of the wickedness that this man does. The list goes on and on. Okay, but everything that you've done, everything that you perpetrated down here upon earth, you gotta pay for that, man. The most high gonna come visit you. Okay. It says he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. When you read this in the ledger in the 16 uh, 11, what it reads here is you're gonna go into captivity for your sins, man. So you're going straight into slavery. All right, we went into slavery. That was part of the punishment that came upon the nation of Israel. Well, guess what? The same thing gonna happen to you. Okay. This is back in uh, Jeremiah 49 and 13. It says, For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, that Basra shall become a desolation. And Basra is talking about America. And that's, you know, the major judgment that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is gonna bring upon you, man. He's gonna destroy your kingdom. In a spectacular fashion Okay There's only one other society That had been uh, Destroyed The way that you damn devils Are gonna go out man Okay And that You know uh, Society is not renowned <laughs> It says For I have sworn by myself Saith the Lord Yahweh That Basra shall become A desolation America A reproach A waste And a curse and all the cities thereof shall be a perpetual waste Which proves that this is not talking about the ancient Basra Because the ancient Basra was its own city This modern day Basra has multiple cities man We're just talking about America Okay America is the capital of you uh, Edomites That's why when you read in uh, You know uh, it was in Jeremiah the 50th chapter It calls uh, Babylon the beauty of the Chaldees excellency Okay and it's also referred to as the glory of kingdom. So that's talking about America, man. Because this place is the top nation on the earth. And Esau boasts about that. This is the, the top nation ever to exist. You know, we have the best technology, the, the best uh, way of life. You know, everybody uh, wants to come here and be a uh, part of the American experience. You know? So that's talking about America, man. It says, For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, that Basra shall become a desolation. A reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. It says, I have heard a room from the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come against her and rise up to the battle. And that's what's going on. The Most High is putting it in the minds of these other nations to prepare war uh, against you, man. And you can read about that also in Isaiah the 14th chapter. It says, Hell from beneath is moved to meet thee at thy coming, man. It stirreth up all the dead for thee. Okay, even all the chief ones of the earth. These other nations are going to take your ass out, man. They the ones that's going to shoot missiles on you. Okay, and once those missiles get shot in the air, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai going to put his spirit in them and they're going to they gonna rain down on Babylon the Great, man. On Basra. Okay, it says, uh, For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. You the most insignificant nation on the earth, man. And everybody hates you Okay, your ways are, are corrupt Alright This man is, you know, pushing transformers Throughout the four corners of the earth And a lot of these other nations ain't with it, man Okay, they ain't with this changing the kind That you you Edomites are into, man That's something that, you know uh, the, the devil does Change the kind You know, make transformers You want to put them in the military too, man China, they have a masculinity campaign For their military all right. Well, you know, the whole uh, country, they got rid of those boy bands that's coming from uh, South Korea, man. They don't they don't allow that K-pop madness uh, uh, in their country, man, because they don't want their their the men to become uh, like women, like here in Babylon. And I just seen a post earlier, you know, they saying that uh, you saying that pregnancy is only for women is, is uh, you know, discriminatory. Okay, because all, the only women is not are not the only ones that can get pregnant. Hey, see, and that's, that's the mindset of Esau Edom, man. Okay, and that's why Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai gonna wipe this place from off the face of the earth. Verse sixteen it says, "Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, and your terribleness is your military might, man. 
You think your military gonna get you out of any situation that you get yourself in? Any nation that come up against you, we're gonna take them down, we're gonna nuke them. Okay, but you deceive. All right, the only reason why you won the wars that you got into, that you won, okay, which recently you've been getting your ass beat, you've been fleeing, okay? <laughs> the only reason why he won those wars is because the Most High allowed you to win, okay? And that was to build your pride up so he can lead you to the point that you get ready to uh, uh, be at so you can be destroyed, man. Because you're going to take the bait. You're going you're gonna to go to war with these other nations because you have it in your mind that you're going to win just like you won the other wars and conflicts that you got involved in. Okay? It says, Thy terribleness have deceived thee in the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. And you forget where you come from, man. Okay? These damn devils forget where they come from. They, get, they forget their humble beginnings, man. You literally came from the cave. All right? You was brand in, in caves in the wilderness, man, eating roots, okay, picking lice off of each other's back and eating it for food, man, eating out your grandmother's skull, okay, wearing your clothes till they disintegrate, and now you you got this this mind like you the top person on the earth. You 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 low, man, okay. Your you you your history is the lowest amongst all the nations. No other nation as a whole was in caves, man. Okay, and that's the reason why you call yourself Caucasian because you're a cave dweller. Okay, and none of you Edomites can run from that that classification, man. All right, and your own people, that damn demon Blumenbach, he put that name on you because even he knows where you come from, man. Okay, the only nation in history, okay, to be in a deplorable state, living in the caves, man, not having a language. Not not being able to talk to each other. You 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 like animals, man. Okay. It says, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Hawashad. Also Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof, because the Most High is going to wipe this place from off the face of the earth. Look at Babylon now, man. You can look at picture. You know, you can look at a skyline. If you were in a city, you can look at the city. All America from one end to the other end is going to be completely desolate, man. Okay, so people are going to see the judgment. They're going, damn, what the, what the hell do these people do, man? You know? It says also Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished. Okay, and why are they gonna be astonished? Because this this kingdom is very is vast, man. Okay, it's it's very built up. There's buildings everywhere. The Most High is gonna throw everything down. All these skyscrapers you see, they ain't gonna exist. Okay, these different monuments that Esau has made, they're not gonna exist. Okay, the Most High is gonna destroy everything. So people are gonna see it. They're gonna bug the hell out. What the, what, the, what the hell happened? How did this happen, man? You know. It says, everyone that goeth by shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Okay, how did Sodom and Gomorrah go out? With thermonuclear fire, man. And that's the same way that America is going to go out with thermonuclear fire. Ain't nothing going to grow here after that, man. All right. It ain't gonna get rebuilt up like uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The Most High gonna make this place a desert, okay? And one of the main reasons why this is gonna happen to you is because what you did to the nation of Israel, all right? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai getting ready to pay you back, okay? We in the time where you gonna get your comeuppance, okay? You can't you you can't keep running from your judgment, man. You gotta pay up, okay? You you've been on the loose for a while, and now Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai finally caught up to your ass. This is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 1. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against him. Mount Seir represents America. It says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And Mount Seir is America. And we are commanded to prophesy against this place, man. And what are we prophesying concerning America? Is it, or are we prophesying good? Are we uh, prophesying the prosperity to come for uh, America? No, we're, we're telling you that Yahweh Shemihah has declared that he's going to destroy this place from off the face of the earth, man. 
You want to know why? It's because your, of your iniquity, the wickedness that you have committed down here upon the earth and what you did to the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, who are on the bottom in your society, who you, who you have slandered, okay, in your society, man. And not only in your society, to the whole world, okay? You come up with this bullshit theory of evolution, then you put the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American as the, uh, the missing link. We're, we're the closest to, uh, to animals and savages, you know? And to show you that that whole thing is all bullshit, this damn devil will tell you that all life came out of Africa. Then he said people migrated out, you know, they went to Europe, they went to Asia, and then they came down here, you know, over uh, uh, to the Western Hemisphere. They crossed the Bering Strait. But why doesn't this damn devil, okay, because he's saying that basically the Native Americans, they come from, uh, you know, uh, Moab and Ammon, right? But if they if they do come from those people, why aren't the, the you know, the Chinese and the Japanese considered a part of Missing Link too? Okay? Because it's all bullshit, man. All right? He's, he's just slandering the nation of Israel. Okay? Because he has that perpetual hatred, man. It says, uh, verse 3, and say unto it, America, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, power, behold, O Mount Seir, America, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. The Most High is going to completely destroy you. Okay? It says, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Why? Because you're going to know that the Most High did this, man. You're always trying to attribute one of these uh, attacks that happened on America to some damn terrorist group. Well, the destruction of America, you're going to be able to attribute that to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? It ain't going to be ISIS that's going to do this. It ain't going to be uh, Al Qaeda. You know? It ain't going to be Saddam Hussein, man, or, or, or uh, uh, Bin Laden. <laughs> you know? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai going to completely destroy this place from off the face of the earth, man. And you can guarantee that. It ain't nothing you can do to stop it. Okay? It says, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Okay? And that word perpetual means uh, of old. So you've had a hatred of old, man, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Yeah, we caught more hell. You know, after we was so-called free from slavery than when we was actually in slavery, man. Okay, this damn devil put pure hell on us. All right? This is because thou has had a perpetual hatred going all the way back to when our forefather bought. Okay? <laughs> he purchased it. All right? Because you, 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 you slander our forefather Jacob. You say he's a, he's a trickster. You know? And you actually got people out here that believe that the word uh, Jacob... You know, uh, the name Jacob means a uh, trickster, man. Okay? That's not what it means. It means a uh, supplanter. And Jacob didn't trick you. It was a clean transaction, man. Okay, see, Esau's mind is messed up. He ain't right like the scriptures say, man. So he gonna, he gonna you know, twist it to try to make it seem like he got played, man. So he make himself seem like the victim. You can't. You bought your red ass out the field, okay? Well, your, your, your daddy bought his red ass out the field. Okay, he was only out there for a few hours. The nigga said he was going to die. All right? So what did Jacob do? Hey, look, you want some food, man? You know, it ain't done yet. Okay, but if you want it now, sell me your birthright. Esau was like, hey, man, I'm, I'm with it. Okay, I don't need this birthright anyway. What 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 profit is the birthright going to do me when I'm dying of hunger right now? You know? So, hey, man, the only person you can blame is your, your weak-ass forefather. All right? It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, power, and the Most High lives forever. Okay? So as the Most High exists, all right, I will prepare thee unto blood. So the Most High is preparing you on the blood. Okay? And the Most High is saying, as long as he lives, this is what he's going to do to you, man. He's going to prepare you to blood. Okay, so this is never going to stop. <laughs> All right. 
until one of them ceases to exist. Okay, and the Most High, he, he can't die. All right, so this is only going to stop. Your punishment is only going to stop when you no longer exist, man. It says, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahabashah, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall to the slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations and thy city shall not return and ye shall know that I am the Lord. You're going to know the Most High did this to you, man. Okay. Number one, because we telling you what's going to happen. Okay, ain't gonna be no terrorist group out in the Middle East that's gonna take credit for what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is gonna do, man. Okay, the Most High gonna shoot thermonuclear missiles on you. He gonna shoot them hypersonic missiles on you. Okay, this place is gonna be destroyed, and Yahweh Shah and the angels gonna come back and they're gonna deliver the elect, man. And Yahweh Shah gonna destroy your armies out there in the Middle East, man. So you gonna know without a shadow of a doubt who did this to you, man. Okay, and the Most High is so bad, he telling you he gonna do it before he does it. Okay, and there's nothing you can do about it, man. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Okay? You can try to put the prophecy of death that's not going to stop the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai from being executed, man. Okay? It says, Because I have said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai was there. And what are the two nations? The two nations are the northern and the southern kingdom. When you read uh, Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, 50, 33, it says Judah and Israel were oppressed together, man. Okay, so he, he wanted control over the whole nation. That's the reason why after he, you know, uh, he took down the southern kingdom partly in Europe, that was enough. He had to come over here and get the north, man. Okay, and then after he conquered the north, he had to go get the rest of Judah, okay, the kingdom of Judah from the west coast of Africa and, and put him in hardcore bondage, man. Okay. It says, because thou hast said these two nations, the uh, kingdom of Judah, the kingdom of Israel, the northern and the southern kingdom, okay, and these two countries shall be mine. The two countries is uh, Samaria, all right, and, uh, you know, the area that the kingdom of Judah had. He's out there right now, man, saying, this, this is my land, okay? These people belong to me and their land belongs to me. It said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine and we will possess it. And they have it in their possession. Whereas the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai was there and the Most High dwells amongst the children of Israel. Okay. Let me get a precept on that real quick. So you, you've taken control or taken possession of something that don't belong to you, man. The Most High didn't give us into your hands so you can own us. Okay. He gave you. He gave us into your hands so you can punish us, man. But now you're saying he, these people belong to me. Okay? And mind you, these are the people that the Most High delivered from the the, uh, the land of Egypt, man. Okay? So the Most High, he brought us up out of that, that captivity for himself. Not so you could have us. Okay? This is uh, Numbers 35 and 34. It says, Defile not therefore the land which he shall inhabit, Wherein I dwell, for I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, dwell among the children of Israel. So you took the Lord's possessions, man. Okay? The Most High is with the nation of Israel, and the Most High, that land is his favorite land, man. And you over there defiling it. And you're defiling the nation of Israel. Okay? By pushing on them uh, your wicked ass philosophies. All right? Like it says in uh, Habakkuk, woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink. You know, that put us that uh, bottle to him so he can get naked, man. Or, or you can you can look at his nakedness, okay? Which basically means that Esau is, you know, feeding Jake these philosophies, all right? These wicked philosophies that Esau, Edom, you know, uh, believes in. So he can look at Jake in a low state, man. Okay, and then accuse us to the Heavenly Father when it's your fault that Jake is in that state anyway because you're not telling them who they are. All right, so yeah, you gotta pay, man. Okay, so uh, Ezekiel thirty-five and ten again. It says, "Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries uh, shall be mine, and we will possess it. 
Whereas the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah was there and the Most High dwells amongst the children of Israel. Okay? Even in, you know, our uh, fallen state, the Most High is still focused on us, man, as it says in Sirach, the 17th chapter. Okay? Just because Jake is wicked and Jake is going off, that doesn't mean that we're not the center of the Most High's, uh, 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 you know, world. Okay? The Most High is always focusing on us. Okay, so when we go off, the Most High jacks us up. Okay, and that's, you know, uh, the father-son relationship that we have with the Heavenly Father. Okay, but you you got it in your mind that, now nah, I'm going I'm, I'm to take these people from the Most High. They belong to me now, man. You out your damn mind. It says, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, power, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. Okay, why? Because we're going to know that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai has uh, judged this damn devil. Okay? And what is going to happen when this man gets judged? The Most High is going to deliver the nation of Israel. Okay? It says, and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. Because the Most High is going to destroy this place. He's going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. And you read uh, Revelation 19 chapter goes into that. Okay, the elect praising Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai for destroying the whore and bringing uh, judgment down upon her and avenging the blood of his servants, man. Okay. It says, And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. And that's the mindset that this damn devil has, man. He actually believes that the Most High gave him us to do whatever he wants to us, man. And this is just gonna be something perpetual, okay? The Most High, he don't care no more. He, he forsook these people, he kicked them out of their land, you know? We was able to bring them over here and put all kind of hell on them. The Most High don't care about these people no more, man. We could do whatever we want to them. The Most High said we can have the earth, okay? We could do whatever we want down here. We also got control over his people, man. Which is the reason why this damn devil has, you know, that uh, thought to put the haragma inside of Israel, man. Because he believes that, just as we're reading here, they're giving us to consume. We can do whatever we want to them, man. They're our property now. Okay? What are we going to see about that, man? It says, saying they are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me. And have multiplied your words against me I have heard them All that shit you've been talking about The nation of Israel The Most High heard it man You trying to claim the nation of Israel for your own The Most High has heard that Okay And the Most High went to Egypt To make uh, the nation of Israel people for himself He didn't say you are holy people unto Edom He said you are holy people unto me man The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shaddai power We don't belong to you damn devils man You trying to steal the Most High's possessions and the Most High don't take kindly to that, okay? You know what happened to the, the, the Pharaoh of old, all right? Your red ass even make movies about it, man. Well, guess what? You the new Pharaoh. You trying to take the possessions of the Heavenly Father. It says, thus with your mouth have ye boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, power. When the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. Okay, and the, the whole earth is going to rejoice when your ass gets destroyed, man. Just as it says in uh, Isaiah the fourteenth chapter. Okay, the fir trees are going to sing, the, the the all the creation is going to be joyous because your ass got destroyed, man. And the righteous are going to be set up. It says, "As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumea, even all of it." And they shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and great judgment is coming to you, damn devils, man. America's gonna be completely destroyed. Your red ass is going into slavery, man. Okay, and we're gonna put all kind of hell on you devils in the kingdom, man. We're gonna pay you back. Okay, all the things that you did to us, we're gonna do it to you times two. All right, all the, the, the lynchings, the hangings. Okay, oh, oh, those long voyages across the ocean. We, hey, Get ready, boy. Okay? You got a lot of work to do ahead of you, man. You know, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai.
Bahashim Arahakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, Shalom.